What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to train to be explosive. Uh, take a second to like the video, subscribe to the channel, of course, and click on the notification bell to get notified when I uh, you know, push out videos. In terms of being explosive, how do you train to be explosive? Explosiveness has a lot to do with genetics. Some people are just born more explosive than others because of their muscle fiber dominance. Some people have a lot more fast twitch muscle fibers versus slow twitch muscle, muscle fibers, right? There's categories in both. Um, but generally speaking, that's what it is. Pro athletes are, have a dominance in high uh, twitch fiber muscles. That's why they're pro athletes because only the best of the best get there. So now in science of neurotyping, meaning uh, training according to your neurology, right? So your brain chemistry. So there's actually five types. Um, and one of the, the first two types, I'm not gonna get into all of it, but the first two types so there's the 1A and the 1B. Those are the ones that you tend to find in professional sports. 1A is the one that's ultra strong, right? He's not as explosive as 1B. 1B is the freak athlete. So 1B means that this guy here, he's, he's made to be explosive. He has a lot of uh, muscle elasticity, right? He's able to use ballistic movements and bounce and it's just the way he's set up. So he could explode naturally. He has a very, very high dominance of um, fast switch muscle fibers. Whereas the 1A, for him to be explosive, he has to get strong, but he has that ability to get really strong. So that's why he could be, become explosive. 1B, he's already naturally explosive. So if he needs to, if he wants to be more explosive, he just has to get stronger. When people ask me like, oh, how do I train to be more explosive? Then yes, there are ways to go about it, but you can't go beyond your genetic limit. You could train to maximize what you have genetically, but that's it. How would you train this? Well, it comes down to two things, mind muscle connection, and of course, muscle size. The bigger the muscle, the more potential it has for strength. If you're stronger, you can push harder off the ground so you can take off. You have to think of muscle as the engine. If you increase the size of the engine, then you increase the potential for strength. And of course, if you're stronger, you're off the ground and you can, you know, accelerate faster so you're more explosive. When it comes to uh, mind-muscle connection, there is a method where essentially you're training uh, isometrically. You do an isometric hold for you know a certain amount of time and then from there, boom, then you go into plyometrics. So then you go into that movement that you're trying to train, that explosive movement. Like you're in a squat position, right? You're bended and you just stay there with your legs, uh, with your knees bent, and you stay there for a little while, boom, okay, now you decide to jump up and down, jump up and down. Like, there's, there's other ways to go about it. There's a great book on it called The New Power Program, Michael Colgan, so I'm gonna put uh, the links down below there. You can go uh, check that out. There's also uh, Tim Grover, uh, Michael Jordan's personal trainer. Well, he was, you know, when Jordan was playing, and he was also the personal trainer for Kobe Bryant. He wrote a book called Jump Attack, and he explains, like, how to train for explosivity. But you gotta keep in mind that when he, when athletes come to him, they're already pro athletes. And uh, I remember somebody asking me like, oh, you know, like, can you take a look at my uh, training program? I wanna train to be more explosive. I remember seeing a video of that same person doing, uh, doing certain movements, playing their sport. And that person, uh, unfortunately, um, that person will never be uh, explosive. And you can just like, they would have to work on other aspects. So like if their example, if they were playing um, something like judo or something like that, then it, it wouldn't, that wouldn't be their game. It wouldn't be like being explosive and all that. It wouldn't be a trait that they could rely on because they'll, they'll never be as explosive as the guys who uh, are just naturally made, set up that way. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that made sense. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.